In this video, we are going to look at the 2023 GCE Mathematics Paper 2, Question 2. Alright, so part A, the question says, in a geometric progression, the second term is 21 and the fourth term is 189. Calculate the first term and the common ratio. Alright, so how are we going to find the first term and the common ratio? Alright, so for us to find the first term and the common ratio, we are supposed to use the formula for finding the terms of a geometric progression. So the formula for finding the terms of the geometric progressions is a n is equal to a1 times r n minus 1. Alright, where A1 is the first term. Alright. So, when we go back to the question, they are saying in a geometric progression, the second term. So, here they are saying the second term. Since they are saying the second term, it means here, it means that here N is equal to 2. And the fourth term. So, here it means that N is equal to 4. So, for us to find the first term and the common ratio, we are going to first form two equations. So form two equations using this. So we are going to have A2, which is the second term, is equal to A1. We don't know. is one of the uh, things we are looking for. Then R is also one of the things that we are looking for. Then n, n we are going to put 2. So 2 minus 1. So because they are saying the second term is 21. So meaning here where there is a, a 2 which is the second term. We are going to put 21 is equal to a 1. We don't know. R 2 minus 1 is just 1. So we are going to have R to the power 1 which is just R. Alright. So this is the first equation. Let's also find the equation for the fourth term. So we're going to have A4 is equal to A1 R um, N in this case here is 4. So we're going to say 4 minus 1. So A4, they have said the fourth term is 181. Okay, so we are going to put 189, by the way, sorry. We are going to put 189 here is equal to A1, we don't know. Then R, 4 minus 1 is 3. So this is the, the second equation. Alright, now that we have the two equations, we are going to solve them simultaneously, okay? So we are going to use, we are going to solve them simultaneously by using the substitution method. So which means that we are going to make A1 in equation 1 the subject of the formula. So at this stage, make A1 in equation 1 the subject of formula. Alright, so equation 1 is 21 is equal to a1 r so to make a1 the subject of the formula divide both sides of this equation by r so r r will cancel we'll have 21 over r is equal to a1 so meaning a1 is equal to 21 over r so we are going to call this as equation 3 now, at this stage, substitute in equation 2 for A1. Alright, so this is equation 2. So we have 189 is equal to A1. R, so we have 189 is equal to A1. R cubed. So we are substituting for A, so we, have, we are going to have a, 189 is equal to 
A1, A1, we, fa we found that A1 is 21 over R. So 21 over R. Then remember there is this R to the power 3. Write it as it is, like this. Then R into R1, R into R to the power 3. You remain with R squared, this side. 21 times R squared you are going to have 189 is equal to 21 R squared. So for us to get the value of R, which is the common ratio, we are going to divide throughout by 21. So 21, 21 will go, we'll have R squared this side. Then 189 divided by 21 is 9. So in other words, we are having R squared is equal to 9. To get the value of R, remember we are being asked to find the common ratio and not common ratio squared. So we are going to take square roots on both sides. So this and that to cancel, we have R is equal to the square root of 9 is plus or minus 3. So which means that the common ratio R is equal to negative 3 or uh, positive 3. Now we can use these values of R to find the value of the first term A1. Alright, so we are going to have A1 is equal to 21 over R. But remember, we have two values of R, so we're going to have A1 is equal to 21 over uh, negative 3. Or A1 is equal to 21 over, we use the positive value now. So we're going to have A1 is equal to 21 divided by negative 3 is negative 7. Or A1 is equal to positive 7. Right, so since they wanted us to find the common ratio R and first term, we are going to conclude and say, therefore, A1 is equal to negative 7 or 7. Then R is equal to negative 3 or 3. So these are the values of the common ratio and the first term. All right, so we have answered D, part 1. The second part says find the sixth term. So we still use the formula for finding the terms of a uh, geometric sequence. A n is equals to A1, R, N minus C, 1. So this is the second, this is A, the second part. So since they want a sixth term, it means that N, N is equal to 6. So here we're going to say S6 is equal to the first term. So we can use the N of the first terms that we found, positive or negative. So let's just use the positive, which is 7, then R, let's also get a positive R, positive 3. Then N is 6 minus 1 is equal to 7, uh, 3. 6 minus 1 is 5. Then you are going to have 7 times 3 to the power 5 is 243. 7 times 243 is 1,000. 701. So this is the sixth term. The third part is saying find the sum of the first five terms of the progression. So here n is equal to 5 because they want you to find the sum of the first five. So we also use the value of r, whether positive or negative will still be the same. So let's use the positive. And then the first term, A1, we also use the positive one, which is 7. So the formula for finding the sum 
of the geometric progression is given by Sn is equal to A1, which is the first term, then R to the power N minus 1 over R minus 1. So this formula is valid when R is greater than 1. When R, the common ratio, is greater than 1. So we are going to repress. So we are going to substitute A1 is 7. So we have 7. R is 3. So 3 minus 1 over 3 minus 1. Okay? Remember this R, this 3 here, is, has been raised to the power n. n in this case is 5. Sorry, I forgot about that. So we're going to have 7. 3 to the power 5 is 243 minus 1 over 3 minus 1 is 2. So we have 7. Uh, times 242 because 243 minus 1 is 242 over 2. 7 times 242 is 1694 over 2. When you divide this by 2, when you divide this by 2, you get 800. 47. So this is the sum of the first five terms of this progression. All right, but B says, given that matrix P is this. So this is matrix P. 7x minus 2 minus x1. At A, find the value of X for which the determinant of P is negative 10. So the determinant of P is negative 10. So they want us to find the value of X. 